everybody, Gamer Petty here, bringing you another episode of our Cyberpunk 2077 Let's Play. And we are back almost right where we left off. Um, let's go ahead and continue on with this I Fought the Law quest. So we have to call Ward. Uh, River Ward, let's call him. He's a cute. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why you're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? That you'd best meet with me. All right, I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their staff. Chubby Buffaloes. <laughs> okay. Bum, bum. Oh my god, what the heck? Like, I'm not gonna say that because I don't know what it means. <laughs> Alright. Car, please. I'm gonna get the scorpion one. Where are you? There you are. Car, please. Alright, let's go meet River. We look like an idiot in our clothes, and I hate it. I wish we looked better. Let's try not to hit anyone. Um, I think that there is or was a patch coming out. Or, I mean, a patch announced, or it's already been patched, but I think they fixed the police stuff. So we're gonna have to be really careful and not accidentally run people over anymore. <laughs> so never do it on purpose, it's just when I get going real fast. Chubby Buffalo. Dang, that music. Oops. Oh, hey, Pan Am. Hey, do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean, no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way. On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Mm-hmm. See you soon. Okay, so Pan Am, Pan Am needs us, but, um, no, I, I wanted to do this one. See, the quest got changed again to Delamine. Delamine's just, god, that is so busted, the, those quest lines are. Alright, where am I going? We gotta go to Chubby Buffalo, and then we'll go and talk to Pan Am, I suppose. Chubby Buffalo. Oh, right here. Okay. Alright, no one touch my bike. Grab this. River, who are you with, my dude? Someone here to see you, looks like. Detective Han. Wonder what about. You, River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Han. Hello. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. We can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over her. All right, bye, Han. Hey. Okay. Talk. Where can we sit? 
See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. I have a feeling that's going to come back and. the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's some info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Okay. Why you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay. Okay, sure. I fought the lone, the lone. It's not. It's gonna be stuck in my head again this whole time. All right, River, that's your car. Really? Here's my bike. You like it? He's ignoring it. <laughs> hey. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then mm. he got lost before they could get his statement. Got lost, huh? So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. Hmm. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why is he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Um, as I see it, Perales is up to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Uh. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Uh, let's meet with your CI. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. All right, you got it. I got it. Okay. You want to talk on the way there, or? I guess not. <laughs> Is this a? Hey, guys. Is this one of our romance options? I think it might be. I think it might be the romance option between male female. Which, I have to say, that's one of the things that was kind of disappointing for me uh, when this game came out. Because they said, oh yeah, you're going to have romance options. And I was like, oh cool, a bunch of romance options. And then it's like, oh there's four. <laughs> there's four that go anywhere, I guess, is what it means. And it and it's and if you are a male you have two if you're a female you have two and it's like if it's a male you have one guy and one girl and if you're a female you've got one guy one girl I think this might be the guy one or the the uh, yeah the female to guy one I really wish it, like that was opened up just a little bit more I get why it's not but well what uh, it turned my head like that real real quick my guy works here Okay. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. 
who is this guy? Proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. <laughs> Okay. All right. Wait here then. Don't know why he's sending me in, but maybe he. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What in the heck? Maybe he just didn't want to come into this place. You're looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? I think I'm looking so for you. Looking for a club. Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address. It means you're not welcome. Yeah, well, Igor sent Igor me. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. All right. Uh, I guess I'm chasing him. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you. Oh, okay, he's running. He's already out here. <laughs> yeah, I knew he would be. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Oh, hey, hey. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. <laughs> Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address. We're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers show broke all my fingers. Wasn't here then. Now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Uh, fine. It's outside city limits, near the river, Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries, goods, sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. Just shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. <sighs> My shit luck! <laughs> Well, All right. Well, that's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but yeah. I'd still hit that market. Market? Orvoth's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. All right. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We're gonna take my car. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. You drove me here. My car. I know. I mean, it no it comes to me on a dime, but. Oh, is this like the, uh, like airport? <laughs> bam, 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 bam. All right, River, let's go. So this is my, I think it, I think he is the one. This might be our love interest. I was thinking about going for Judy, girl on girl. He's cute. <laughs> the cutie. Judy's kind of intense for me, I guess. I really like her, though. Not that he's not intense, but... And the graphics on this are... I hope it looks good on the recording, but when it rains, it looks really good. On the window, it's, I mean. Yeah? Hello? Hello? Alright, we almost there? Again, I don't like skipping the rides just in case they have something to say, but it doesn't seem like he has anything he wants to say right now. Something happened there. Listen to that rain on the roof. That put me straight to sleep. Where are we going? 
down here. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, okay, here. A good ninety percent of any detective's job is talking. Yeah, but and you, you know don't that already. do a whole lot of I'll it. Say you're kind of natural. And the other ten percent, what's it consist of? Writing reports. <laughs> So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? What is that guy doing? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. Okay. Judy, hey, V. Hey, Judy, I'm, uh... Hey, wanted to thank you again, you know, for helping me with clouds. Don't want to think about what could have happened if you hadn't been there. Anywho, I think I got something that might help us. Can't go into deets yet, but I'll holler at you in a couple days. I want to have a fabulous day, wink. Is she coming on to us? Because <laughs> I just met a boy. I fought the law one day. Law one. Ooh, mama. River, um. If I remember right, people don't like me here. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. Of course. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Okay. I found the low on the low run. Where do you think they would be? Let me. Hey. Nothing. I can hear River asking people. Hey. Oh, hey. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. Oh, hey, River. You badges? Um. Looking for data on Petar Horva. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. <laughs> Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pedal, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. For the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath, gonks both, but completely different gonks. Huh. These speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit. Whoops. That's decent to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Hmm. Um. So as Horvath saw it. Who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A uh, Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a sunstone. Would that be all, detectives? You spoke in my Cleon's help. Interesting. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. It might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. <laughs> Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Oh, 
Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Don't you want the same? Gentlemen, gentlemen, chill, please. Wardo, koi tsa nani mon nande? No kono ka ijime ga ino arisou na yatsu ja ne ka. Jump, clown. Jump. Aha. Not gonna deal with the tigers. Hey, how about uh, overheat ya? Ow, Ward. Ow, hey, whoa, 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 buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Good talk. No, I'm talking. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. Okay. Red Queen's race now. First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. Hey. We'll meet there. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, baby boy. Okay. Red Queen's Race. 2000. Let's get back to the street. I forgot how to put away our weapons. Once again, we offer you our humble thanks. You saved the way many lives. Where are you? There you are. At least Don't. I can do. Don't What's run me over. Now? Can your brother still be a monk? Wait, who's talking to me? Though my path is paved with ever greater challenges, I shall not. And USA. Oh, oh, our friend. Oh. Uh, humor me for a sec. If you don't look too kindly on having implants, then what do you think about constructs? Ah, uh, yes. You mean the relic. A fashionable subject, is it not? It is a complex, fluctuating affair. It all depends on whether the engram is a copy of a person, or if this person merely exists in a digital realm. It's a copy of a per- I love this! This was not even here that we did this quest, and we just ran into them here. Let's say the engram's just a copy. What then? Could you say that person was real if they are truly self-aware a buddhist will recognize them as a human being a perfect copy of a complex human mind is still a human mm. mind but is it capable of reincarnation and if it's not can it still be regarded as a being in possession of a soul what you're saying in other words is it's complicated Look at that guy's Suffering suit. is key. He has been there since the dawn of human existence. If a construct can suffer, it is a person. Let's say an engram's just a person that's been digitized. Is that kosher, in your view? Buddhism does not condemn digitization per se. Bending machine often preach in temples. <laughs> no. I will not condemn the simple act of transferal under the condition that they are at peace with it. One must still remember that they will still be imprisoned in their body, even if their body mm. is not flesh. Immortality isn't your thing, I'm guessing. He who cannot die cannot be born into a better life and will never achieve nirvana. What's your take, Johnny? What's your take, Johnny? You just you, or a copy? What difference does it make? You heard really, him hey. trapped in a few lines of code, and your body. Maybe Johnny Silverhand really is dead. Maybe you're just an, well. What, imitation? That what you wanted to say? If the real Johnny Silverhand's dead, then that's his problem, not mine. <laughs> Thanks. You don't say. Feel a headache coming on just thinking about it. Well then, I wish you all the best of luck. Farewell. And do not stray from the path of righteousness. Oh, I love this. 
That's such a cool little thing for run into them like that after we've saved them. And he's still standing beside his brother and I'm, oh god, that just like broke my heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's clear open skies, but don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the So Pan Am needed us. Uh Judy was going to get back to us. But I think I'm going to go do this river one real quick. And we'll catch up with Pan Am eventually. The thing is, I don't want to run out of stuff with Pan Am and then like not see her the rest of the game. But we, I mean, we're gonna, it's gonna happen eventually. We've done a lot with her. So I really do like her being like our friend and everything. I wonder if, um, I know there are different endings for this game. I wonder if depending on like who you are friends with and how far you go in their quest, uh, does it affect your ending? I totally meant to do that. Oh god, what did I just say? Don't hit people. No, 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 no. Nothing. No, it's fine. Like, I wonder what affects the, uh, the end quests. And I, I don't want to know, so please don't spoil. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I'm really curious and getting kind of excited about what ending we're going to get. I feel like it might be a letdown because I'm thinking, like in my head, I'm like, okay, maybe Pan Am will show up, maybe River will show up, maybe maybe Judy will show up, uh, maybe I'll have something to do with it, and I kind of feel like I'm hoping for too much, but we'll see. I'm really excited to just find out too. Eee! Okay, go this way. Hey, fellas. Uh-oh. Someone saw me. Are we back out towards the mall? With the voodoo boys and stuff? I think we are back out in that area. Alright. Get on the sidewalk so our bike doesn't get destroyed. Here? I gotta sit and wait? Okay. Uh there's this car. Hey River. Well, hey. Hey. Mmm. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. <laughs> ha fucking ha. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. What? You're not gonna help me? Okay. Fine, River. I mean, I guess he is, like, trying to be a good cop and whatnot, so I won't hold it too much against him. Oh, hey, River. Hello? I answered it, didn't I? Are they gonna get mad if I go in here? Yep, 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 yep. Come on, you and me, one on one. Nope, you can pass the heck out. Okay. Area hostile. Got it. I'm not too worried about- no 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 
Not too worried about grabbing the loot. I know where you're hiding. <laughs> Do ya? Unless it shows like an epic or something, then we'll grab loot, but otherwise, nah. Am I not crouching anymore? I'm not. Excuse you. Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me. Interesting. You got a hunch. Cop intuition? Something like that. Oh, hey, dude. I didn't even see you up there. I'm glad you didn't see me, too. Uh. Oh, he can see me. He can see me. He can see me. Okay. Do you hear music? Let's get you. Yeah, I got you now, uh. Do ya? Because I think you're knocked out. Okay. It's gotta be like in there, huh? Maybe it's up top? I don't know, I just. Come on! I swear I won't completely kill you. Thanks for giving yourself away of where you are up there. Ah, okay. There's inside. Clever. I'm not scared. I'm just crouching. <laughs> okay, so it's underground, underground, huh? What would the why would the mayor want to come here? Oh, mercy is for the weak. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was definitely a way in to <laughs> some extra loot. Grab this. Some like it. The fuck is that little constant? Uh. Can I see anyone? You. Should get him down. Is there a camera anywhere? There is. Okay. Turn it off. No, that's not what I wanted. Exit. I wanted to turn it off. Go. Interesting club here. I 
my guess is the office would be upstairs. And pick it up. Yeah. Okay, mm. can dump bodies there. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Interesting. We'll just take all of this loot. Hey, my dude. Okay. He leveled up. Incapacitate the animal boss. Good. Okay. You drop anything, my dude? A sandwich. Oh, hey, friend. Oops. No, that's not what I wanted. Stop. Exit. I don't want the door. I want you. River's just on the side of the screen, kind of watching everything, I suppose. Uh oh. BD headset. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to. Ah! Uh, shield your eyes! What do we got here? Uh oh. You okay? Guess I shouldn't have put that on. Come you hear me? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Thought you couldn't come in without a warrant. I can't. Some gonks just ask to be flatlined sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Right. What was that, V? You ask me. Wasn't a heart attack that killed Brian. Yeah, as I said from the start. But someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Interesting. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Well, thanks for coming for my rescue. Um. Okay, but we're gonna have to get out of here, and I did not take down the boss. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Okay. This? Turn off. Okay. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his really hard as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Oh no, River, I'm so sorry. That's his partner. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? Hey, don't hey. I'm not in the mood for jokes. Is that a guy through there? I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Oh no, it's River's reflection. <laughs> River, I'll be... No, I, I want to talk to him. I didn't kill the animal boss. Gonna look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. 
Wasted time as I see it, though. Okay, I really want to. Be right back, River. Just want to get get the loots, you know. Can't get through here. Yeah. But we could get money off of there. This was the one with that brain dance. Yeah. That goes back out. Okay. I think I'm ready. Okay, let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Okay. Dang, that sucks his partner knew about it. That's why he didn't want him working on the case. Ah, River. Back at Chubby Buffaloes, huh? You really like this place. <laughs> you good? No, he's mad. Fuck. We don't have to be crouching anymore. Confront Detective Han. Still hey, Han. hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know the game NC makes you play. Know the rules. All the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line. And when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time, and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. There's a line. Not every order's worthy of being followed. Let me tell you when I'll stop doing what I'm told. When I retire. Not a day sooner. Ought to consider doing the same, Ward. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who go and clean up. I know anyway. So, since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. You good? Fuck. Whoa. Where are you going, Ward? Don't jump! <laughs> you okay? So, what now? Won't let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Uh, also think it was Holt. The only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Uh, is he gonna be mad if I say don't do it? Because I don't want him to get into trouble? Don't do it. They'll sack you, or worse. Besides, won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. No, don't hate me. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. 
No. Is he gonna get uh, caught up in this? Hey, Elizabeth. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Okay. River, don't hate me. I just don't want to see you get hurt, bud. Okay, so we will go and talk to Elizabeth, but I think we're going to do that in the next episode. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Cyberpunk 2077 Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.